On Twitter recently, I had posted a new announcement from OpenAI releasing their very own open source multi-agent framework. And I was quite fascinated as we haven't really seen a new open source agent framework in a while. It's called Swarm. This is an experimental project, but it's a pretty big release as it's a new framework that will easily enable you to build AI agents to carry out your tasks. Now, if you scroll down to the overview, they even stated that Swarm focuses on making agent coordinations and execution with a lightweight, highly controllable and easy uh, testable framework. And this is what you're going to be able to get with Swarm. The best part is, even if you may be a beginner, you can easily build and deploy Swarm AI agents to automate your tasks. And this is something that I'll be showcasing throughout today's video. It's an easier way for you to deploy orchestration agents similar to how you would with Autogen or MetaGPT. Now, I want you to take a look at this demo video, which is going to showcase Swarm plus Firecrawl in live action. And this is to build a multi-agent system that creates marketing campaigns from a single website input. In this case, you will have the input of a URL and you're going to have Firecrawl go through the website and crawl the website to find the right contents and you'll have the swarm agents deployed so that it is going to be able to copyright as well as develop different types of campaign ideas and you can see over here that it was able to generate it within your terminal and it's fairly easy as to how you can do this essentially swarm is designed to make agent coordinations and executions quite lightweight meaning that it is highly controllable and easily testable it will achieve this through two main concepts you have agents and you have handoffs. The agents consist of instructions and tools that can be transferred over through a conversation to another agent whenever it's necessary. For example, this is a language speaking agent where it can transfer Spanish speaking users from an English agent to a Spanish agent. So what this is gonna be performing is the action of handoffs where the system can seamlessly transition conversations based on the language needs, and it's gonna provide a more tailored support experience for each of the users demanding a preferred language. And this is the capability that is configurable with these different swarm agents. Now the two different types of concepts that we mentioned, agents and handoffs are concepts that allow for flexible interactions between tools and networks of agents. And this will overall enable the development of a scalable real world solution without steep learning curves which is why I had mentioned that anyone can actually access this. I'll be showcasing this as we showcase how you can install the packages and how you can import different sorts of Swarm agents. Hey guys, this is just a short little announcement that we're gonna be giving out Pythagora API keys for people who wanna get early access to this amazing application that will assist you in helping you develop full stack applications. If you're interested, definitely join the Patreon, which is going to be giving access to a lot of the users with a $20 credit as well as a full access to the Pythagora uh, extension. So if you're interested, definitely join our Patreon and I'll leave a link to this in the description below so that you can easily get started and access the API keys. Also, a side note, Swarm agents kind of differ from those in the assistant API from OpenAI. Now, despite their similar naming, they're kind of unrelated. So Swarm basically relies on the chat completion API, making it more stateless between the calls. Now, before we even get started, I want to basically take a look at certain examples. This will give you a better idea as to how or what you can basically do with these simple Swarm agents. This is a folder that is going to contain the fundamental examples from agent handoffs all the way to single input outputs and interactive sessions. Essentially, you have various sorts of examples, which will showcase different sorts of interactions with the Swarm agents. And in this case, you'll get a good understanding of the usage of each of these different agents. For example, you have the handoff agent, which will showcase how you can transfer between the Spanish speaking agent, as well as with the English speaking agent. You have many of other examples such as function calling, which will assist you in showcasing how you can utilize this tool with the Swarm agents. And you can see that these are a good group of different examples that can help you adopt this functionality of Swarm Agents. So let's get started now. This is something that will require Python 3.10 and above to actually start getting started with. You can use the pip install command depending on your operating system. 
So since I'm on Windows, I'd copy this. I would simply go into my command prompt and I would paste this in and it would install this package onto my computer. But thanks to a great YouTuber called Sam, which is someone that I'll leave a link to in the description below. Due to his efforts, he actually uploaded all the source examples for the Swarm agents and on Google Colab so that you can easily get started with it. Now, essentially what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the custom Swarm agents and showcasing how you can easily get started with this. What you want to do is click on file and click on save a copy in your own drive. Now, this is if you're going to be following along with this example and if you are interested in deploying different Swarm agents to showcase the capability of it. But now, once you have done that, I want you to click on runtime and I want you to actually change the runtime type to the best hardware that is available. And then you can simply click on save, choose the one that is best for you, and then simply click save. And you're going to be able to start interacting with this. What I want you to do first is click on the play button over here to install this package. Once you have done that, we can then input our API key from OpenAI. So in the meantime, while it's installing, go ahead and retrieve your OpenAI API key. Now, if you are on maybe like your terminal within VS Code, you would want to simply import Swarm. And this is to basically import this library. Now, this line is going to import the necessary classes, the Swarm agents, as well as different sorts of classes that help you manage the interactions between the agents. Once you have done that, you can then start creating your Swarm client, which is over here. From here, it's going to let you create the class client, and you can start defining the different types of agents that you want to work with. You can define the agent to whatever you want. So in this case, you have it defined as a sales agent. And once you have done that, you can give it a name and you can give it an instruction. This is the string that will provide a set of instructions that will guide the agent to behave in a certain manner. And within the repository of Swarm, you can see that they have a good uh, way for you to understand how you can use this. Like I mentioned, you import the libraries, the client, and you can describe the type of agents that you want to create. You can create various agents. You can see that there is two in this case, uh, agent A and you have agent B. Give them instruction as well as the functions. So you can see that the function is a list that includes different sorts of agents that can transfer to agent B. This is just one functionality, but you can reference a lot of the other functionalities that are written within the repository and they showcase the different types of functions over here but now if we are to go back up and scroll back to this usage example you can see that it's going to now transfer over with the handoff function to agent b and you can see that this is the agent that is going to be helpful agent a and agent b is going to be only speaking in haikus and we'll then get the ability to run the client with these two agents working together with the role user and content and in this case you can have it so that you can request an instruction so you can run this method to the client to start a conversation it'll send the message from the user stating i want to talk to agent b and you can see that it's going to then process this response so that it can talk and speak in haikus which you can see over here and within this Swarm Agent GitHub collab, you can see how he was able to start off with the beginner flow and was able to slowly but surely create different sorts of agents with the examples that were already created from this repository of Swarm. Now, what we'll see in this case is this is where there's an instruction to have a human in the loop sort of functionality with the agents. So in this case, he had given the sales agent a couple of instructions to follow such as getting and retrieving the customer's name finding out the health concerns so in this case you can see that it is asking for the name and once that's done he had provided the content which is my name is sam it's absolutely wonderful to meet you and you can see that it's going to now ask for if you have any particular health concerns which is the second instruction that was told for the sales agent to retrieve from the querier the handoff agent is also one of my favorite agents that have been created with Swarm. You can simply have two different types of agents, such as an English agent as well as a Spanish agent. And you can have it so that you can transfer to another language with these two separate agents. And in this case, it was able to transfer uh, from English all the way to Spanish and it was able to translate it within 
a couple of seconds. And in this manner, you can even have it so that it is quite complex, so it has multiple agents doing these sorts of translations. So now what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the next example, which is a context variable agent. Now, essentially what this is going to be doing is, is going to basically provide pieces of information like a name or a user ID that helps the agent understand who the user is and is going to be able to personalize the response. Now, if you refer to the documentation, they explain all of the different arguments that you can use. You can use different agents. So in this case, we're going to be utilizing the context variable agent. So you can utilize various tools to help you to set this up. It showcases the instructions as to how you can do this. And what we're going to be doing now is having it so that it's going to first start off by importing the library, which is the from uh, swarm import swarm uh, comma agent command. From here, you're going to be setting it up with the client, creating the instruction which they teach you how you can do it within the documentation. So if you go over to the instruction tab, it will showcase how you can set this up with the type. And once you have set that default instruction up, what you can do is give it a name and you can describe the instruction of that agent. So in this case, we're telling it that you're a helpful agent, greet the user by the name. And once you have done that, you can start configuring your agent where you can function it to print the count details. So you can import the necessary things such as the context variable, as well as the name that you're going to be retrieving. From here, you can create this agent further by naming the agent. The instruction is going to be to follow the instruction list that we have in the documentation. And it is also going to have the functionality to print the count details that it will basically reference from the sheet. From here, you can define the context variable, which is where it will reference the dictionary store, uh, such as the usernames, as well as the IDs. And from here, it will reference these contents and it will then print it by running the agent. And you can see it will then finally report the account details, which you see over here. Hello, James, your account details has been successfully printed. James123. Now, in the same manner, Sam did a great job in utilizing the different examples from the repo, and he basically spruced them up and showcased how you can deploy them with this ready-made template. For example, you have the function calling agents that you can deploy, simple loop, no helpers, you have a weather agent, and such forth. This is the func functionality of the new agent system that has been developed with uh, Swarm and huge props given to OpenAI for developing this new repository that is open source. This is obviously experimental, so it's only used for educational purposes, but you can slowly see that this can become something that will definitely help many people out in terms of automating and utilizing these different AI agents to assist you in various functionalities. That's basically it for today's video. Definitely recommend that you take a look at all the sources that I use in today's video with the links in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access our private Discord as well as having the ability to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.